Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. So, we are back with another video, obviously. Um, so, thought I'd spice it up a little bit, change, well, do a different idea or do something a little bit. So yeah, do something a little bit different. So, I have gone on my Instagram and I posted a few stories last night. So I am basically letting my followers on Instagram choose the kind of look we do today. So the first one I put was either neutral or colour. You guys wanted me to do a colourful eye look, so that's what we're gonna do. The next one was liner or no liner. As you can see, wait. There you go, as you can see. Um, liner one, so I'm gonna do a liner, but I feel like I wanna do a different liner, not just like the bog standard liner. So, excited. Then the next one was big lashes or natural lashes. I was gonna put mascara in there, but then I was like, no, I can't do that to myself. I love my lashes, I can't, I can't do it. So that's why I went with big lashes or natural. You guys have got my back. And you chose big lashes. We love a big lash. We all love a big lash. Then I put glowy skin or matte skin. And you guys clearly like the glowy skin. So we're going to do glowy skin. Um, and then I put highlighter or no highlighter. Because I feel like highlighter I can leave it. I cannot like doesn't really matter to me. So you guys chose... Um, highlighter so that's what we're gonna do and then I put glossy lip on matte lip you guys chose glossy lip so you guys have actually done it like a solid you've you've got my back you chose the ones I actually wanted to do so <laughs> there you go you guys like me clearly so without further ado like always, I've done my brows, I've done my base. I'm thinking of doing like blues, greens, because I feel like I've, I do a lot of combos, but I've not really done blue and green yet. So let's see what happens. Again, going to mix palettes. So I'm going to use, obviously, obviously, it wouldn't be a Lauren YouTube video without this palette or at least a Carnival palette so we're gonna use the XL Pro and I feel like I literally never use this palette so we're gonna use it it's the La I think it's called Laroc I'm sure it's called Laroc so Laroc Pro the artistry book it's such a big palette and it's such a beautiful palette like the colours in it are beautiful and I, I know these colours are so pigmented as well. So I don't know why I don't use it more. So we're going to use it. I'm thinking I really like the greens. So I might use the greens in it. We shall see what happens. And then obviously we're going to do liner. So I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do two different liners on the eye. I don't know. We shall see how we go. So let's let's start. I'll get rid of those creases in a minute. Yes, let's start. I'm gonna put my hair back so you guys can see a little bit better. Right, I've literally just started and I've got makeup on my top already. Are we okay? I don't think we are. Okay, so let me zoom you in. My camera is going to die. This is not good. Right, I'm gonna film as much as I can. And then we'll see what happens. Oh no. It was literally charged enough, but now it's not. Love that for me. Oh my god. Okay. 
Anyway, let's just hurry up and get this over and done with. Before it dies and then it's going to be a hot mess and I'm going to be fuming, so... Yeah, right. Okay, so I'm going to take a small brush, as usual. And I'm going to start with this shade of green in the XL palette. And we're just going to put that on the inner corner. Why do I feel like this brush has gone really big now? And what I'm doing, tiny little motions, add in product. Every time I kind of move my brush a little bit further over. So that pigment is like insane. You will find that you might have a little bit more fallout doing it this way. But providing that pigment's there, who cares? Okay, that green is down. Now what you're gonna now what you're going to do is take a fluffier brush. Ignore that it's already got green on it. I used it the other day for a green look doing come for me and I'm going to use this green in the bottom corner so again you go in on top 50 50 so 50 on the first color 50 off and same kind of thing. Every time you move your brush, you're adding more product. This way you're not losing any pigment or anything. And don't worry if you're already reaching that brow. Don't worry. That's a good thing. That's what we want. Okay, got the second colour down, now we can go in with this colour here. So take a little bit of a bigger brush, I don't think I want a brush that big. It'll have to do. So again, load up that brush, 50-50, again every time you move your brush a little bit, sorry guys, you want to add more product. blend it at the front so this section just gonna get a wide I'm just gonna get rid of that fallout here so you just wanna blend it out at the front of that brow as much as possible It might look crazy, but it's fine. It's fine. It will work, trust me. So now what I'm gonna do is then work on the blue section. So I'm gonna take the shade Mood in the carnival. Absolutely love this color. Literally my fave. And again. You join in. Don't focus on joining just yet. We'll move on to that in a minute. Get that product on. 
So again, every time you move, you want to add more product. And then now I can focus on actually winging it out. I'm going to dip a little bit and then go back up. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Just going to, because this is such a dark colour, I'm just diffusing the edge a little bit. So it blends a little bit easier. Then I'm taking another brush. And I'm taking Main Waves. So again, load up that brush, 50-50, and every time you move your brush, sorry guys, my phone is that you're going crazy. So, as you can see, the blue and the green have kind of already blended together. Just because I've, I've kept it quite close, like the dark colours together. It still needs a little bit of work, but not much. Then what you want to... What you... What you want... What you're going to do next is a fluffy brush again. Take a lighter blue. So I'm going to take the shade Pool Party in the La Rock palette again, load up that brush and really buff that out. Don't worry if you like losing shades or anything, it's not an issue. Because you're going to go back in, you're going to intensify them, that kind of thing. Keep adding more product to your brush, the more product the better. Okay, that's on. Now we're going to work backwards. So, the blue i'm going to focus on more first so the second blue I'm just using circular motions to blend it out and i'm just going to go in with the the last light blue okay okay now you want to take that deep shade again circular motions okay and that's like the blend that we've got there so I'm just then going to just drag in that um, darker blue shade to the green. Not loads, not added any extra product or anything like that. Okay, now we can work on the green. So, you want... Why have I lost my marbles? <laughs> So the second green that we used, and you're just gonna blend that into that deeper green, but also the lighter green. Right, and now we're gonna go in with that, with the deepest green that we used. And I have added more product. Just because I felt like it wasn't high enough. Now what I'm going to do is get a real clean brush. And just kind of fade it all out. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add a white to the blue. It just helps it blend out even more. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease like normal. Get your Q-tips, your micellar water and carve out where you want your crease to be. And then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I did was let my camera charge a little bit. So I've cut the crease on both sides. And now we're going to do the liners. So I'm not actually quite sure how this is going to go. We're going to pray that it goes well and just see what happens. There's no stress. No stress. So I'm just getting, um, this is quite a big liner brush, but I used this the other day and I really liked it. So I'm just going to use that. You can use a smaller one, like, I don't know. That's too big. Let's say one like this. So like a really really small brush they're quite good getting it on and i'm also going to use whipped cream the dumblon cosmetics aqualiner and what you do is just add a little bit of water to the pot and you want to create your consistency and then i'm just going to basically draw where i've done the cut crease so you just want to take your time with this what i tend to do is rest my hand on the face and just create really small strokes Have little breaks relax it's not it's not a stressful thing it shouldn't be a stressful thing if it goes wrong the best thing about aqualine is let it dry and literally you can just like what's it called kind of scratch it off yeah scratch it off i find aqualine is so much easier to use than like a liquid liner especially for things like this so once i've like done my initial kind of line I'll, i'm just going back over it making it a 601 and also adding that pigment there okay that one's done so now we're going to do the bottom one hmm, how do i want this to go i'm going to start here and i'm joining those up so i want this line to kind of be as straight as possible i know it's hard because obviously eyes are all different but it doesn't matter providing the top bit is straight it doesn't matter about what the bottom of that line is doing because we can wipe that bit off can make that bit as neat as we want just by wiping it off okay just gonna get the wipe in fact i'm gonna get a new wipe that's a bit dry now because it's aquiliner it literally comes straight off no problem at all okay white liner is now done what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna use the blue one and i want the green i think i think there we have kind of just bringing it so i'm using pistachio at again the dumb blonde cosmetics and i'm using fun 30 which is like a royal blue If I can open them, yep. So, it's fluff. Fluff is floating. Okay, again, we want that water. I'm gonna start off with the blue. 
So I'm just kind of creating like an outline of a liner. So I don't want to do a solid line. Okay guys, I am back. Do apologise. It cut off. Um, my memory card was completely full. Um, so a little bit of a trauma there. I tried, obviously my, my back on track now. So what I did was I just did both eyes. Um, I filled in the green and the blue which is where I left off I believe I then put a pigment on this middle bit because I felt like it looked a bit plain um obviously did my glowy the complete look my glowy skin which is what you guys wanted to see and obviously a glossy lip so obviously base wise i use the nars foundation i put a dewy um, primer on did all that basically my normal face routine blush i've used um vive sorbet her new blushes i literally can't get enough of those blushes they're insane lips i've used morphe spiffy on the lip as in lip liner um vive lipstick and then i just put the butter gloss um a fortune cookie on and obviously lashes you guys wanted big lashes so i went for the biggest ones i had which were the tight lashes x mitchell t l m2 whatever they're called wherever i've put the box I don't know where I put the box. I literally had it not long ago. Not a clue. But yeah. The second pair of the Mitchell ones. They're so long. Like, oh my god. Obviously put highlighter on. I put the Ofra highlighter on with a bit of the Dolby Beauty one. Mix it together to make it extra sparkly. So yeah. That is the finished look my followers chose my makeup for the day i feel like i really want to do more like this like more videos like this but i want you guys to actually fully choose my makeup so i think next time if i do another one i'll get you to choose between products and see how that goes because that could literally go one or two ways so yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do next well not next but you know you know what i mean at some point um just to let you guys know as well youtube fam um i will be doing a giveaway on my instagram very very soon because we hit 2k no it doesn't seem a lot but it's a lot to me so i think it was like two weeks ago now two and a half weeks ago we hit 2k um i'm just waiting on one last product to arrive and then i can announce it even though now let me just check what we're on bear in mind like i said two and a half weeks ago we're literally like three people away from 2.5k so i've gained 500 followers in literally two weeks that is insane i cannot thank you guys enough so if you haven't already go please follow me on instagram so you guys are ready for the giveaway and obviously you can see more content things like that because i mean there's more on there than youtube has so <laughs> hope you guys enjoy looking at that and also i hope you guys have enjoyed this video a little bit different um i feel like i've gone very crazy we're definitely out there with all the different liners um any questions anything like that put it in the comments below and i'll answer anything that you've got any questions about um and yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed like usual like comment subscribe put that notification bell on so you guys are ready for my next videos bye guys